Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech and these are the reasons not to buy Sony XA Ultra. And this is just considering the phone and the phone alone. First reason would be the smaller battery. I don't know why this phone is so heavy, it do not 5 grams and still packs only 2700 mAh battery. For an entertainer, battery life is really not sufficient on this phone. Next reason is as mentioned earlier, it's damn heavy. It's practically a two-handed phone in terms of size and weight. Next reason is that we don't have any additional hardware like fingerprint scanner or IR blaster. Well, these features have become quite common most of the phones sold these days. It would have been great add-ons to the existing package. Next, it sports a Helios P10 processor. Though it's sufficient for a phone of this size and for regular users and casual gaming, but still nowhere near its competition like OnePlus 3, Mi 5, La Max 2 sold at the same price. The phone becomes noticeably hot while playing heavy games like Asphalt 8, Nova 3 and Modern Combat. So not a good option for heavy gaming either. The next reason is that it has only 16GB of internal storage. If you are a normal user then this is completely fine but if you install huge games or install a lot of apps then this won't be sufficient at all. This phone currently has less than 1 GB of free space after installing 3 big games and few other apps. And there is no option to move apps to the SD card either. This is a retail phone and it's completely unfair to compare it to the online exclusive phones like OnePlus 3, Mi 5 or other devices. So heavy size and smaller battery would be the only primary concerns or the primary disadvantages with this device. If you don't have a brand fever then consider other options like OnePlus 3 and Mi 5. But if you want to buy a branded phone in a retail store, maybe on an EMI, mainly for cameras and entertainment purpose, then this is a very good choice. You can check out my video on reasons to buy for more information. Links for that will be in the description area and you can see it on the top right corner of the screen if you have enabled annotations. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you do, hit that like button and if you don't, hit that dislike button and let us know why. If you have any more reasons or complaints, compliments or feedback, feel free to leave a comment below this video and if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, do subscribe. It really helps our channel to grow. So that's it guys. This is Nikhil from Greedy Tech signing off. Have a nice day.